the James Webb Space Telescope has made a significant breakthrough in providing us with an unprecedented view of the universe. On this occasion, it has gone deep into the depths of the famous supernova SN1987A. This telescope has revealed new structures that had never been seen or observed by previous telescopes. When the star exploded in 1987, it became the brightest supernova visible from Earth in nearly four centuries. SN1987A lies at a distance of about 170,000 light years from us, located in the Large Magellanic Cloud, a dwarf galaxy close to our own Milky Way. The new image captured by the telescope uniquely shows the structure of the center of the supernova remnant, which is shaped like a keyhole in shades of blue. Join us on this 170,000 light year journey to the Large Magellanic Cloud to discover all the details of the core of supernova SN1987A. The core of the supernova is composed of gas and dust ejected by the supernova explosion. The dust is so dense that even infrared light detected by a telescope cannot pass through it, creating a dark keyhole. Inside this keyhole, we find a bright equatorial ring that forms a band around the central region and connects two faint hourglass-shaped arms. This equatorial ring was formed from the debris ejected tens of millions of years ago before the supernova explosion and features bright spots that emerged when the supernova shockwave impacted against it. According to information provided by NASA, the bright spots were formed when the shockwave generated by the supernova explosion impacted the equatorial ring of gas that the star had ejected several tens of millions of years before its explosion. These bright spots can now be detected even outside the main ring, emitting light diffusely into their surroundings. These areas mark the collisions between the shockwave and the outer material, creating regions of intense interaction and energy transfer. As the shockwave from the supernova explosion propagates outward, it encounters various layers of gas and dust that were previously ejected by the star. The impact of the shockwave on these layers results in the bright spots, which are essentially hot spots of energy where the shockwave compresses and heats the material, causing it to emit light. In addition to these bright spots, the James Webb Space Telescope has revealed additional crescent-shaped structures that had gone unnoticed in early observations with the Hubble Space Telescope. These crescent-shaped formations are intriguing because they provide further insights into the complex dynamics of supernova explosions. NASA suggests that these crescent-shaped formations are the outer layers of gas ejected during the supernova explosion. When a massive star like the progenitor of SN1987A undergoes a supernova explosion, it sheds its outer layers in a violent and chaotic process. The material ejected during this event forms various structures depending on the interactions and conditions at the time of the explosion. The crescent-shaped formations observed by the Webb telescope are likely remnants of these ejected outer layers. As the shockwave moves through the surrounding medium, it encounters regions of varying density and composition. These interactions can lead to the formation of complex shapes such as crescents. The high resolution and sensitivity of the Webb telescope have made it possible to detect these subtle and intricate features, providing a more detailed and comprehensive understanding of the aftermath of supernova explosions. The discovery of these crescent-shaped structures adds another layer of complexity to our understanding of supernova remnants. Each new observation helps astronomers piece together the puzzle of how these remnants evolve over time. The presence of these crescents suggests that the explosion of SN1987A was not entirely symmetrical and that the material was ejected in an uneven manner. This could be due to various factors such as the rotation of the progenitor star, the presence of magnetic fields, or the influence of nearby stars and interstellar material. The crescent-shaped formations also hint at the turbulent nature of the environment around the supernova remnant. As the shockwave plows through the interstellar medium, it creates ripples and waves that shape the surrounding material into complex structures. The interaction between the shockwave and the pre-existing material can result in the formation of dense clumps and voids, leading to the observed crescent shapes. These interactions are crucial for understanding the distribution of elements and energy in the aftermath of a supernova explosion. The detection of these crescent-shaped structures underscores the importance of using advanced observational tools like the Webb Telescope. The Hubble Space Telescope, which has been a workhorse of astronomical observations for decades, provided invaluable data on SN1987A. However, the Webb Telescope's enhanced capabilities allow astronomers to see details that were previously beyond our reach. 
The Webb telescope's ability to observe in the infrared part of the spectrum is particularly advantageous for studying supernova remnants as it can penetrate the dust and gas that obscure visible light observations. The crescent-shaped structures are not only fascinating in their own right, but also have broader implications for our understanding of stellar evolution and the life cycle of stars. Supernova explosions play a crucial role in enriching the interstellar medium with heavy elements, which are the building blocks for new stars and planets. By studying the remnants of these explosions, astronomers can trace the origins and distribution of these elements, shedding light on the processes that drive the evolution of galaxies. The discovery of the bright spots and crescent-shaped structures in SN1987A by the James Webb Space Telescope represents a significant advancement in our understanding of supernova remnants. These features provide valuable insights into the complex dynamics of supernova explosions and the interactions between shock waves and surrounding material. The observations made by the Webb Telescope not only enhance our knowledge of SN1987A but also contribute to our broader understanding of stellar evolution and the life cycle of stars. As the Webb Telescope continues to observe and unveil new details about the universe, we can look forward to even more exciting discoveries that will deepen our understanding of the cosmos. NASA, in its press release, mentioned that despite decades of studies since the initial discovery of the supernova, several mysteries remained unsolved, especially regarding the formation of neutron stars that should have originated after the supernova explosion. The Space Agency also notes that the James Webb Space Telescope will continue to observe the supernova in the future. The telescope has identified another dying star in the Saturn Ring Nebula, which also shows intricate structures corresponding to the final stages of a star's life. This nebula is bright and lies at a distance of 22,000 light-years from Earth, making it visible with binoculars on clear summer nights in both the northern and southern hemispheres. This observation should not be confused with one of the first images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. The international collaboration, known as Unspecified, consisting of experts from several countries with expertise in planetary nebulae and other related objects, recognize the importance of making observations over the network to obtain essential information. In particular, the Ring Nebula was identified as an ideal target because of its perfect fit in the field of view in the mid-wavelength infrared camera aboard the James Webb Space Telescope. This choice allowed the nebula to be explored at an unprecedented level of spatial detail, which in turn helped to unravel some of the mysteries surrounding planetary nebulae. Thanks to its array of infrared sensors, James Webb was able to capture images that offer exceptional spatial resolution and spectral sensitivity amid the cosmic chaos. According to the release, this means that the telescope, located at a distance of approximately 1 million miles, 1.6 million kilometers, from Earth, was able to reveal previously unseen details of the nebula's intricate structure. When scientists first observed these images, they were astonished by the abundance of detail they revealed. The bright ring that gives the nebula its name is composed of about 20,000 individual clusters of dense molecular hydrogen gases similar to what we find on Earth. Within the Ring Nebula, a narrow band of emission containing polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and complex carbon molecules is found. This finding is surprising, as we did not expect to find these molecules in the Ring Nebula. Outside the bright ring, we observed particular peaks extending in opposite directions from the central star. These peaks are especially prominent in the infrared spectrum but are not as evident in visible images captured by the Hubble Space Telescope. It is believed that these peaks may be related to molecules that have the ability to form in the darker, denser areas of the ring. In these areas, the molecules would be shielded from the intense radiation emitted by the hot central star, including the capture of infrared light, which is invisible to the human eye. The James Webb Space Telescope provided detailed information on the structure of the ring filament, as well as the presence of approximately 10 concentric arcs in the outermost regions of the nebula. These target-shaped arcs were a surprise, suggesting that they formed about 280 years ago, when the central star was shedding its outer layers during its transition to a planetary nebula. This time period is unusual, and no known process can explain it. Instead, the presence of this ring suggests the possible existence of a companion star in the system orbiting at a considerable distance from the central star, similar to the distance between Pluto and our Sun. As the dying star expelled its atmosphere, the companion star may have influenced the formation of these rings. 
Roger Wesson of Cardiff University offered an explanation for this phenomenon, noting that no previous telescope had the sensitivity and spatial resolution capability to discover this subtle effect. Importantly, this is not the first time the James Webb Space Telescope has looked at the Ring Nebula, indicating the continued importance of studying this intriguing phenomenon. The history of the Ring Nebula represents a symbol of human curiosity and scientific progress. From its early misinterpretations as a planetary nebula to the advanced technology of the James Webb Space Telescope, our quest to understand this phenomenon has closely followed the development of astronomy. The Ring Nebula was discovered in 1779 by astronomers Antoine Derrier, de Palouse, and Charles Messier, who included it in their Messier catalog while attempting to track a comet through the constellation Lyra. Today, this nebula has become an emblem of astronomical archaeology. Its distinctive brightly colored ring represents the remains of a dying star on its way to becoming a white dwarf, acting as a striking reminder of our cosmic connection. In studying the Ring Nebula, we are not only observing a distant object but also exploring the past, present, and future of the universe itself. We may even consider that our Sun, in about 5 billion years, could give rise to a similar nebula at the end of its life, although it is unlikely that we will be around to witness it. It is important to note that the color differences in the images of the same nebula may appear strange. This is because the James Webb Telescope observes objects at infrared wavelengths, which are invisible to our eyes. The original Webb images appear black before the image processors translate them into visible light wavelengths, which highlight certain aspects of the nebula in each image. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its ability to explore everything from the deepest views of the universe to the rings of planets in our own solar system, is giving astronomers an exciting new perspective on space. The James Webb Space Telescope represents a monumental leap forward in our ability to explore the cosmos. Beyond its discoveries related to supernova SN1987A and the Ring Nebula, this cutting-edge observatory has unveiled numerous other celestial marvels. One such revelation involves its observations of exoplanetary atmospheres, providing unprecedented insights into distant worlds. By analyzing the faint light filtering through these atmospheres during transits, Scientists can discern the chemical composition and even detect potential signs of life. Webb's advanced instrumentation allows it to study these exoplanets in greater detail than ever before, contributing crucial data to our understanding of planetary formation and habitability. Moreover, the telescope's deep field surveys have pushed the boundaries of our cosmic knowledge. Through prolonged exposures in regions of apparent emptiness, Webb has captured faint signals from galaxies that formed less than a billion years after the Big Bang. These observations offer a glimpse into the early universe, revealing how galaxies evolved over cosmic time and providing clues about the origins of structure in the cosmos. Webb's capabilities extend to the study of distant galaxies, where it examines the interplay between supermassive black holes and their host galaxies. By measuring the motions of stars near these black holes, and observing the energetic processes occurring in their vicinity, astronomers can unravel the mechanisms driving galaxy evolution and the growth of these enigmatic cosmic giants. Furthermore, the telescope's infrared sensitivity has revolutionized our understanding of stellar nurseries, regions where new stars are born from collapsing clouds of gas and dust. Webb's ability to penetrate the obscuring dust clouds allows it to peer deep into these nurseries, revealing the intricate processes of star formation and the feedback mechanisms that regulate it. In addition to its scientific achievements, Webb embodies international collaboration and technological prowess. Built by NASA in partnership with the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA, it showcases humanity's collective ambition to explore the universe's deepest mysteries. Looking forward, Webb's mission promises even greater discoveries as it continues to operate beyond its initial observations. Its unprecedented capabilities ensure that it will remain at the forefront of astronomical research, inspiring new generations of scientists and deepening our understanding of the cosmos. In conclusion, the James Webb Space Telescope stands as a beacon of scientific achievement, unveiling the universe's wonders while pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. Its discoveries not only reshape our understanding of the cosmos, but also ignite our curiosity about the vast and awe-inspiring universe that surrounds us.